Looking at the fact, and I cannot believe it, that you're looking back at a career of 20 years, Tim, because <laughs> you look so young. Thank you. <laughs> what would be the most surprising thing that you mm. experienced in your work with people? I think, um, I think, I mean, there are many things that's been surprising, but specifically because I'm, I'm coaching uh, mostly CEOs, the thing that I've been most surprised by is the fact that many CEOs feel deeply unappreciated, mm -hmm. right? And this is surprising on many levels mm -hmm. because first of all, I thought as an employee, I feel unappreciated. I never thought CEOs would mm -hmm. feel unappreciated. Mm -hmm. uh, but what I've come to realize is personally, I've, this has helped me understand my father better, mm -hmm. right? So for most of my life, me and my father did not have such a good relationship. But because I've begun uh, coaching CEOs, what I've seen them doing is they're outside working with customers or investors constantly. Mm -hmm. And they're being either rejected by investors 99 times of 100 times, right? Because they're saying no. So they're feeling rejected and, and, and uh, getting kind of shot down on a daily basis. They're also working with customers who may be very difficult to deal with. And they're being shot down in that relationship as well. So in some simple ways, they're getting hurt by people outside the company constantly, right? So when they come back home to their own company, uh, their natural sort of expectation is people at home will console them. Maybe well, you know, kind of give some warmth and kind of give them some encouragement about all the hurt they've been experiencing outside of their home, mm -hmm. right? Except what they get is not that at all. It's, it's quite the opposite. Most people would confront them with complaints about, you know, why is my life miserable? Why can't you do something for me? Uh, why can certain things be better about our company? So, and those complaints may be extremely valid. Uh, it's not about right or wrong, but the fact that that's the kind of greeting they get from people that they consider as on their side hurts like a betrayal. And that's the way they experience it. And this is, this for me connects back to my father because growing up, I've always looked at my father and complained like, you know, why aren't you spending more time with me? And my mother would say like, why aren't you earning more money so we can, you know, provide food for the family or buy toys for my kids or something. Never once that I imagined that maybe my father is outside working and getting his ass kicked by customers or his bosses getting hurt every single day and then coming back home expecting like a natural human being that maybe my son and my, my, my wife would be there to console me and saying, wow, it must have been really difficult to have all these hurtful experiences at home, come over here, you know, or something like that. But obviously that's not what he got. Um, so that's been very personally meaningful because I now see a side of the world that I never was privy to seeing. Mm -hmm. So there's something about this sort of human needs that crosses any kind of roles or mm -hmm. positions mm -hmm. that seems to be completely unaddressed. And until we address them both uh, at the same time, I think the struggles of human interaction will continue to propagate. Thank you very, very sure. much for sharing and uh, looking at all the people who tuned in today and the SAP community, would you have a last quick recommendation on how you can apply human-human interaction on your <laughs> daily life? And um, sure, and I think this, this comes back to me because it's, it's something that's on my mind yeah. constantly. And one of the mistakes that I often see people make with human interaction design and with empathy in general is they think empathy is about being altruistic. It's about caring for other people. And this is a mistake for many different reasons. First of all, because care is not a sustainable fuel. So what happens after a while is you, you get bitter, mm -hmm. you get resentful, and you burn out. Mm -hmm. And which is something I see with CEOs mm -hmm. all the time, mm -hmm. they're burning out. Mm -hmm. So although there's good intentions behind helping other people and, and, and being helpful and everything, uh, empathy has to come from a place of stable self. And thinking about yourself. Yes, so you have yes. to first take care of yourself and get to a place where you're sincerely honest and then you're able to tend to others. If you get that mixed up, you will just burn out. Oh. Thanks a lot, Slim. When sure. it, can I sign up for my first coaching session? <laughs> Anytime you want.